Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Mopar Madness. Yeah. So you want to tell them how the week started out? No. Okay. We'll save that. We'll save that for the end. It's it's a uh, it's cool. Whatever. Yeah. No, I wouldn't say it's cool, but uh, I'm getting sick of dodges. That's for sure. Yeah. So here's here's a couple. Yeah. So this is mine which you saw in a previous episode, been off the road for six years. Uh, we got, uh, we got the, the motor issue sorted out. Uh, it turned out that my so-called remanufactured injectors, uh, two of them, I took them into a place called Western Turbo in Winnipeg here, and, uh, or there, because we're not in Winnipeg. Right. And uh, two of them failed. Yeah. So I got two new ones, got them back here, Threw them in, man. Okay, so I was happy with that situation. So the next thing was, let's take it for a road test. So, took it for a road test. Go down to my buddy Tom's place. He's, he's, you've seen his 53 Chevy truck and his little uh, uh, caddy Volkswagen deal. And uh, his one DeSoto. His DeSoto, his one ton truck. His, that's a 51 ton. They're on the other videos, go check them out. Um, had a coffee, so it came out, I'm heading out, have a good day, jumped in the truck, no drive. And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And this transmission is uh, fairly new. So I don't know what's going on with it yet, but uh, I did end up limping it about three miles to, to, to where, where I live and sat it there. And today I got a ride from there uh, with Marty from Steinback Towing. Thanks yep. buddy, really appreciate that. And uh, so now we're here. Yeah. I'm gonna sh show you a little something we discovered here with the, uh, with the fluid in this thing. Show them the dipstick, man. That's obscene. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty foamy. It's, that's all kinds of raw. That's not supposed to be that way. So we're gonna drain the fluid out. Um, crappy thing about these transmissions is there's no drain plug on them, which I guess a lot of them don't. It would be so much handier, Dodge, if you put a drain plug in the pan oh, to yeah. make life easier for don't, us guys. Don't get me started on Dodge stuff. So, if anybody knows about this condition, leave a, get, get us some comments here. Let us know what you, you got, like, we're not Dodge gurus, like, no. the guys that know, let us know, please, really appreciate that. All I have, uh, Searched on this, there's a heat exchanger to warm up the fluid, keep it at a balanced temperature. It could be cracked and it's just been pumped full of water or antifreeze or what, coolant, whatever you want to call it. So, help us out, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, so that's, that's dodge number one. Uno. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing that I found out on the road test, uh, apparently the leaf springs in the back were seized. Mm -hmm. Because man, when you hit a bump, it, it jumps yeah. around. It's got zero give to it. Yeah. So we got new bushings to put in it. Someday. Yeah, someday. We'll get to it. So, in the uh, continuing saga, the Dodge debacle. The Dodge debacle, exactly. So, this is, uh, this is our buddy Vinny's truck. He's, uh, he's the owner of that. That wicked jet mode that we uh, we did our last video on. Yeah, if you didn't see that video, go check that boat yeah. out. That thing is super gnarly. So, when we went to his place that night and we shot that video, we quickly glanced at the at this thing and came to the conclusion that the lift pump was bad. Initially, we thought it was an in-tank pump, which turned out it wasn't. It's still the block-mounted pump. So that got changed, and it's still not still not happy. Uh, changed the the uh, fuel the relay relay changed that same thing and we ran some tests on uh, on the wire harness between the pump and the pump's ECM and it tested good so then we uh, I reached out to a, a, a buddy who got me in contact with his cousin who's a guru of these guys. Cummings mechanic. Cummings mechanic, yep. And we had a discussion about all the different possibilities and 
basically, um, with these, these this, this is an old one, it's got a VP44 on it. And uh, what happens is, if the lift pump goes, the pump's not made for drawing its own fuel. It needs to have the fuel pushed up to it. And that usually ends up being a, a, an expensive repair. And we're kind of at the point here where that's the diagnosis. Yeah. Um, this guy also said that a lot of guys with these particular trucks, they'll put a, either they'll put a fuel pressure gauge in it so that they can monitor it, see if the pressure drops, then they know, or they'll put basically an idiot light in there so that if the fuel pressure drops below a certain point, is it five pounds? Five pounds minimum. Five pounds yeah. minimum, light goes off, shut her down. Otherwise you're gonna end up doing what happened here, potentially. Which is not an expected financial cost that anybody enjoys hearing about, so. No. Unfortunately, but that's kind of where it's at with that. Uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with this whole thing and and yeah, there you go. That's where we're at with that. And he had just got the engine rebuilt. Oh, that's right. Last summer. Yeah. But all the initial or the original accessories were added back to it. So he's got, what's he got, 300,000 K on this thing? 200. 200,000 K? Like it's an old one. This thing is like mint. And it's, it's rare. It's, it's a six speed model. Yeah. Six speed, one ton dually, two wheel drive. Let me show you the guys the interior. Wow, yes. This thing's, that door is probably locked. Okay. Let's undo her. It is. I don't think see in there properly. No, this thing is just, it's in amazing shape. Yeah. And it'll tow anything. Well, when it wants to. <laughs> when it's asked to. When it's asked to. And so uh, we were talking about uh, something else. Yeah, dodge, dodge number three. Um, we'll take you outside and we'll show you that particular Dodge. But it came in with a bad transmission. Um, we knew it. But yeah, this is the bad one. Well, turns out so is this one. This one was a, I'm not going to say where it's from. It came from a reputable salvage uh, company. Yeah. So. We got it all installed. I had it all bolted in, transfer case was on, um, all the cross members, everything was all good to go. We were to the point of dropping the oil pan to change the filter. So I figured before I put the rear drive shaft in, which would have finished it off, I'm gonna drop the pan so I can let it drain. And so when I did that, um, this is the magnet that sits in the bottom of the, the pan to collect all the, all the crud. So this is all metal shavings and that's a big chunk of, a whole big chunk of something that's not supposed to be there. I think it's a snap ring. So I, I wasn't in the shop when Jeff was uh, uh, swearing doing the it? filter change and yeah, doing, doing the, uh, that stuff. So then I get a notification, I get this picture and I go, oh, well that's just perfect for yeah. this week. Yeah. We'll just add that to the list of all of this shenanigans but uh they were good gave him a call said hey this is what we found and then uh the warranty guy said to me uh this is how good these guys are they went back and looked at the pictures and and, and the uh, uh data they had on the vehicle where this transmission came out of and they said it had a front impact and it also had a rear impact the guy says, I would not put that transmission in, in uh, change it into the vehicle that you're, you guys are working on. No. Because if the drive shaft, obviously front and or rear, put in such a shock load that something like this happened, which obviously made sense to me. And I was very happy to hear from the warranty guy that we're going to get you another one. So we're getting another one next week and we're going to start the whole procedure over here again. So whatever, we, that's under the S happens department. Yeah. So, um, we've got some comments about the random content that we put up. The uh, thing with our shop is there's always something new going on. Always something new. Like last week, apparently it was Dodge Week, which I don't want that week again. <laughs> apparently it's not over yet either. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, truth be told. Yeah. So, um, 
we've been doing, we've been working on other things. Um, we'll do some videos on the what if, uh, the other stuff we've been working on. It's kind of hard because we're just you know waiting on parts, waiting on this, waiting on that. So and then customers come in like they've got a problem. Can you deal with it? You know, I only have one vehicle. Yeah. And then so then we push stuff to the side. We get their wheels in here and and fix them up as fast as we can so that they can continue living their lives and we just keep going here. And we also have, we work outside of the shop at times. Right. And uh, so that's how it rolls. And, you know, sorry if it's frustrating that we're like squirrels all over the place, but I think we actually are. We are. Truth. Mm. So also, um, we're going to try a live feed. And I don't know if any of you guys caught uh, <laughs> the mistake, caught our test. <laughs> that was, uh, wasn't supposed to go out, but apparently 70 of you guys out there did. That's on me. Um, sorry if, uh, yeah, it wasn't supposed to be published. So I'm, I'm sure there was some things said that uh, should not have been said. So it's going to be funny or it's going to be offensive. Yeah, so. E either way. <laughs> we're just, we're learning. We've never done one before. I have no clue. So. So we're going to try to do a live feed, hopefully tomorrow, today's Saturday, so hopefully Sunday. Um, we'll probably do it after uh, Coastal Auto Reaction does theirs. Yeah. Which will be, uh, I don't know what, it'll be around well, 3 o'clock our time, which I don't know what it is. Oh, tomorrow sometime. Just watch for notifications, I guess, if we can figure it out. If not, then we'll try again later. We'll see how it goes. That's Dodge Week for now. <laughs> Do you want to go show them that other thing out there? No. Nah, we've seen enough dodges. Yeah. That one's green. That's the only difference. And it's... It's kind of beat up. It's pretty beat up, actually. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll fix it. like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Check us out on Instagram. Follow all this community, not competition stuff. Yep. And go and see all, uh, experience all the other channels that are connected into the CNC. And... Uh, Leave us comments and help us out. If you guys got some information for us to help us sort these things out, that'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Right on, guys. Later. <laughs>